Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bond KJB, and I'm here playing literally my most favorite game of all time. This this game, I, I first of all, I'm I'm going to say no, I have not mastered this game 100%. I have not mastered this game to the point where I know every single nook and cranny, but I can tell you right here right now that if anyone in the entire world were to ask me what is my most favorite game of all time this game is my shit it has been my shit since I was like nine years old my god this game will always be my most favorite game because no game I've ever played compares to it no game of any genre at any time this game has had me in my heart since I was a very small child and I'm excited to post this to my channel. It is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. We'll see him later on, won't we? All right, let's get to it. All right, well, seems like a friend of mine decided to leave a fucking file there. He never played this game anyway, never appreciated it for what it was. All right, so we're just gonna put my name, Von KJB. Oops, and we're gonna go. Let's do this. gonna kick back
I almost don't want to provide commentary for this game because this game really does speak for itself. This is the original Nintendo 64 version of this game. I'm just playing it on the Wii with a classic controller. So it's going to take me a moment to get a little custom to these controls because I'm not sure where those C buttons are. I was fiddling around with Star Fox earlier and I think that I can use the second analog stick on the classic. That should work. Oh, sorry. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Those are the C buttons. All right, and that's the Z button. Got it. But first, we have a little bit of work to do. First task collect money. Collect a lot of money. Money up the ass. Go away. Don't talk to me, Navy. I hear that noise every single time I get a notification on my phone. Literally, I do. Navy is my notification on my phone. That's awesome, isn't it? Alright, hold on. Don't want to run off here. There's no jump button. Alright. Damn it. What's in here? And what's in here? I don't really know what's in each chest, I'm just guessing. Huh, lucky guess, huh? I mean, I knew there was a green and uh, blue rupee in there, but I didn't know which one. I'm sorry if this uh, collecting money thing is going to be a little boring for you. I imagine it will be. Don't worry, it won't take too long. Not too long. Stop it, Navy. Give me that. What? What? Where'd it go? What? Uh. Huh? No, no, I, I, no, no, no. Okay. We're magical disappearing money. Okay. I get it. I can't rob you. Ugh. Look, rocks. Alright, let's head on in here. I wonder what's on the other side. Alright, Navy, that's getting kind of annoying. I'm just joking. I love you, Navy. Don't worry about it. Ow. Wait. What's inside this chest? Could it be? Yes, it's the... Kokiri sword. Yes, 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 yes. I already know how to equip stuff. Leave me alone. Stop it. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. I'm just taking it. I'm not borrowing anything. How do I... Okay, there we go. Just 
Would you look at that? Look at how fuzzy his face looks. It's like really, really fuzzy. I don't remember being that fuzzy. Alright. Finally, we've got enough money. Enough money for what? For a little something I like to call a shield. Oh man, I should not have decided to make this video this late. It is 3.52 a.m. What am I doing making YouTube videos? I actually just got off of a, uh... I know there's some kind of secret with this sign. I just don't remember what it is. Something about... Jump attacking or spinning or something. There we go. There we go. And then something about, uh... Back flipping off of here? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go, though. But, uh, I had just gotten off of making, a my first Star Fox 64 video, and, man, it was bad. It was a horrible video. Had to scrap it. I don't want to look at you. There you go. I looked at you. Can I go now? It's a whole bunch of people trying to stop me. A shield for 40 bucks. It is mine. Yes, yes, yes. Equip the shield. I know how to use it. Come on. I want to get to the action. 13 minutes of just reading text. Maybe. How much are those Deku nuts? 30 rupees? You people are out of your minds. Wait, wait. Did I see 15? I saw 15. I'll take it. Basically just like flashbangs. For anybody who's new to the Zelda series. No, 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 not... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Almost forgot. Gotta equip it. There we go. No, stop. I'm... There's a much easier way to get over there, I'm sure. But I have those. That's right. That's right, you're a wimp. You shouldn't. Grumble, grumble, go to hell. What? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Linky. Killing me. Here comes one of the worst parts in this whole game. Talking to the great Deku tree. Not necessarily before, but after. Oh, God. It's one big reading session. It's fine the first and second time you play through it, but when you're on your, like, 25th time playing through this game you don't want to sit through this no more <laughs> that's why I'm refusing to read any of this I'm sorry you have to read it yourself this is too much they refuse to have voice actors for this game it's fucking ridiculous I mean I don't mind it but damn I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're trying to read. Yeah. 
Yes. I'm just going to iterate something right here and right now. When I was a kid playing this game, I had literally two different guidebooks to help me with this game. Yes, I had two different guidebooks. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but I'm pretty sure not that many people would admit it because having two different guidebooks on any game is just ridiculous. And this is back before, you know, the internet took off, so, you know, needed those guidebooks. Nowadays, I can't really imagine strategy guides sell that much unless somebody just wants it to have it. You know, collectors and whatnot. Yeah, I had two different strategy guides. I remember my brother gave me a really, really cool one with like comic book-like artwork on it. And that was a really fun one to read. And then there was another one with, uh, it was all shiny and more professional. But the problem is, a lot of the pages were torn out. Ass. My brother is the one who really originally gave me this game. If it were for him, I would have never discovered this game. I guess he kept trying to beat it, and he either couldn't beat it, or he beat it and got bored with it. But it became my favorite game of all time. Oh god, Navy, shut up. Controls feel a little wonky, but that's only because I'm out of practice. I'm used to playing with the 3DS, which is a little different. A little bit. Just a little bit. What? Damn it, I wish there was a skip tutorial. Yes, do not touch big spider. I get it. Get me out of this. Oh good, a dungeon map. I'll never use these motherfuckers neither. I never do. The only time I ever really use those things is the water temple. But at this point, I know the water temple back and forth and can solve it easily. Oh god, when I was a kid, I made the slightest fucking mistake and you had to start the whole damn game over. Fuck that water temple. That motherfucker was the bane of my fucking existence back then. I haven't forgotten that much about this game, man. Why are you calling me master? Oh, I'm gonna have to go to bed after I make this video. It's ridiculous. So we're just gonna jump off here. Why will we jump off here? Because if I had jumped on that little platform, it would have fallen down. And then I would have to either climb up that, well I would have to climb up that ladder. There's no way around that. Awesome. It's the fairy slingshot. Don't know how those small ass fairies can use this shit. And I don't think the big ass fairies play with slingshots. What kind of fairies are you talking about? Let's equip that. Sign it. Well, let's assign both of them. And... There we go. Wait, no, no. Sign that there. That there. There we go. 
A heart? Memory still intact? Now, to make it easy. I guess you did have to climb up something. Be it the ladder or the vines. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. These inverted controls are gonna kill me. Nothing I can do about it though. Let's get going. Bigger spider. It's a big... I used to call it Skulltula when I was a kid. But, uh... I guess it's Skulltula. Would that be it? Its soft belly is its weak point. Yeah, but its soft belly also leads to those sharp teeth. Who the hell wants to get near that shit? Yeah, they'd be batshit crazy to take on something like that. And then a person with arachnophobia, just they're just gonna die. As soon as they see that thing, they're, they're just gonna die. Hell, I mean, I have a, a friend of mine who, uh... Oh, crap. Damn it. I know I'm playing like a noob, alright? It's just been a little while. It's been a little while for a lot of these games. I'm getting all of my older games out the way. So I can focus on newer games. But these games... They're my foundation. They're the reason I love video games. So why not start my channel with them? Damn it, stop that. It's weird. Well, at least it was something I needed. Alright. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Alright, that works. So now I need to activate that. And go straight for that. You know, even though I've played and beaten Ocarina of Time on many occasions, the one game that always got away was Majora's Mask. That was the one game I just... I couldn't beat it. I tried. But I could never do it. I currently have in my possession a copy of Twilight Princess. Another Zelda game I never beat. But I will be posting and beating that game. Fresh. Blind playthrough. It'll be fun. I've only played through like... Maybe the first 15-20 minutes of Twilight Princess. Or was that Skyward Sword? Another game I should get and beat. You know, I fashion myself to be, you know, some sort of big Zelda fan. But, in reality, it's really just a fan of Ocarina of Time. I mean, I've beaten Wind Waker. Wind Waker was a lot of fun, but it couldn't hold a candle to Ocarina. Too much sailing around. And while it was exciting to see what I would find, most of the time it was just squids trying to blow me up with their cannons. Alright, I guess we know what to do now, don't we? Alright, a whole new area. Uh, 
We need to go watch The Simpsons on FXX. Stop all this Zelda's talk. I will be playing, posting, and beating Twilight Princess, though, on my channel. Fresh. And there's another one that I have that I haven't beaten yet. Uh, what's it called? Link Between Worlds? But the problem is, I don't really know how to post on my DS, you know, on the YouTube. I mean, I've seen, like, different ways that people are doing it, but I need something with quality, you know? Not just put a camera in front of my DS and hope that it comes out halfway decent. But I guess that's really the only thing people can do. I don't know, I'll think about it. Because I do want to post that game. And I would love to, uh, because I watch Yami Mash all the time, I would love to post Pokemon. That is the one thing I would love to post on my channel. I mean, I can post emulator games, so I can post the older Pokemon games from emulated ROMs. That's no problem. But it's the newer ones. The newer ones I want to post. Not sure how to do it, but I'll figure it out. When I do, I'm posting. And you, you come here. Two, three, one, twenty-three is number one. We all know this. Yes, I get it. I've I've read that sentence so many times. Why are you asking me that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like this is the proper place to end the video here. I'm gonna save my game. It's gonna start me back probably at the very entrance of the Deku tree when I come back to it. I'll just run up ahead and start at this very point right here. So, I thank you so much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. This is... This is my favorite game, and I'm going to be very proud to post it. Hopefully you'll join me while I post it. This commentary that I've been providing for this video so far has just been random commentary, but I'm going to focus more on the game, and... I'm going to try and get some jokes in there. You know, try and be a bit more interesting. I'm just kind of tired. So I was just letting you know, like, you know, because sometimes I'm on point in my videos. Sometimes I'm not. But I appreciate you watching anyway. Thank you so much. Have a very good day or night. Bye-bye.